The captain in the Italian cruise ship disaster now says he did not leave the ship intentionally. He is quoted tonight as telling investigators that with the ship listing to one side, he tripped and fell into a lifeboat. Francisco Scatino remains under house arrest this evening. The Costa Concordia lies off the west coast of Italy, and in this new satellite photo, she lies beside the island of Giglio, where she hit the rocks. Eleven people are confirmed dead. Twenty-one others are missing, including a retired American couple. Alan Pizzi is at the scene. Rescuers are still looking, but with no signs of life or noise coming from the ship, they are saying quietly that short of a miracle, there's little chance of finding survivors in the wreck. To add to the woes, the ship shifted a few inches today. Its precarious position forced a temporary halt in the operations. The strain is showing on rescuers. One had to be brought back from the wreck on a stretcher after he collapsed. Those under the most stress are the divers. Specialist cave rescue teams have been brought in because, as Corrado Camerini put it, the inside of the ship is like a cave. There's no light. The water is like milk, like milk. Uh, so the visibility, you can see your hands uh, in front of your mask, nothing more. The efforts are concentrated on reaching the cabins of those known to be missing. The massive ship has 14 decks, 1,500 cabins, and miles of corridors. No one can even guess how or why some people were trapped on board, other than to attribute it to the chaos. More booms have been laid between the ship and the coastline, a precaution in case any of the more than half a million gallons of fuel in the Costa Concordia begin to leak. Specialist oil removal equipment is being unloaded in the already crowded harbor. Once the equipment is in place and the authorities give permission, the operation to remove the oil can take place in between two and four weeks. It can even go on while the search for bodies continues. The only problems, the experts say, will be the weather and the stability of that ship. It's virtually touching the shore of an island whose economy is totally reliant on the attractions of its pristine marine environment, one of Italy's premier dive sites, a sanctuary for dolphins, whales and porpoises. An oil spill would make this a double tragedy. There's widespread outrage in Italy over the decision to place the captain under house arrest rather than leaving him in jail. As one restaurant owner here in Giglio put it to us, it's a disgrace. Scott? Alan, what's next for Captain Scatino? Well, it could take quite a while. The judicial system here is ponderous to say the least, but when he does go to trial, it'll be on charges of multiple manslaughter, abandoning his ship and causing a collision at sea. Alan, thanks very much. Alan told us that one reason hope for survivors has faded is that the rescues, rescuers just aren't hearing anyone banging inside the ship trying to get attention. There was a poignant moment tonight when the Concordia's sister ship, the Costa Serena, sailed past the scene of the tragedy as it began a voyage through the Mediterranean.